So while I was at work this morning, the Bad Batch trailer dropped. Of course, naturally, I had to drop everything I was doing and go watch it immediately. It was so cool. Coming out May 4th, we've known this already. The first episode, the premiere is going to be 70 minutes long, which is absolutely absurd, but I couldn't help but smile throughout the entirety of the trailer, just thinking about what we're going to be seeing throughout the entire show. Now, as I was watching it, and I watched it a few times, there were a couple of things that I noticed that I thought were kind of cool, kind of unique. There are, of course, things that we were theorizing about that we now have pretty much essentially confirmations. Another really cool thing that we could sort of talk about, especially in terms of what Lego sets uh, we might be getting. So today, I wanna break down my thoughts on the brand new Bad Batch trailer, talk a lot about a couple of things that I pointed out. Now, if you guys haven't seen the trailer, I definitely recommend you guys go check it out first. I'll leave a link down below to the one that I watched, and then we can sort of watch this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of my commentary and what I, and also what you guys are thinking in general of the trailer itself. My suspicions about the general plot are essentially confirmed. The Bad Batch, the undesirables, also the really cool uh, effective clones are on the run from the Empire. In fact, there's a line in the trailer that goes like this. I want Clone Force 99 found and wiped out. So essentially, the Bad Batch are going rogue. Tarkin, you guys just heard him, said pretty much, go get the Bad Batch. I want them, bring them here, bring them in dead or alive. And that's kind of the trailer. And that's sort of the plot that the general storyline will follow. This is something that I kind of foresaw happening. I didn't really see Clone Force 99 or the Bad Batch sort of following normal standard procedures for the early rise of the Empire. So I always sort of knew in the back of my mind they were going to go rogue or they were going to go dark, but this is really cool confirmation. And now more than ever, we know that going forward into the show, which is really cool. It looks like from a couple of shots in the trailer, there's like this escape from Kamino. They meet this young child. I'm not too sure who this person is or what role they're going to play, but it looks like they eventually try to escape the uh, clone factory on Kamino and try to sort of start the story there. My prediction is the show is going to open up probably in the first episode or two with the whole Kamino thing. I'm sure they're going to go through their training sequences and then they're essentially going to try to escape and the story is going to kind of pick up from there. But a theoretical escape from Kamino sounds really fun and honestly a lot of mock worthy stuff too. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how the Kamino facility sort of translates and transforms after Order 66 when obviously they're trying to phase out of making actual clone troopers and uh, and sort of begin production of or training I should say of stormtroopers that we see in episode 4. Now what's really good about the trailer is we got really good shots of every single one of the five Bad Batch squad members of course off the top of my head you have Hunter, Crosshair, Wrecker, Tech and then Echo. Now this is a little bit uh, warming for me as a Lego fan because I think there's even a stronger chance that we're gonna get all five of these guys at some point in a set, especially since we saw the Bad Batch shuttle so frequently in both trailers. I think there's a really good chance that we will be getting a Bad Batch shuttle, hopefully including all five minifigures, but we'll see when that comes. Captain Rex and Saw Gerrera. We saw them in the trailer. Captain Rex was standing with the Bad Batch and so was Saw Gerrera. Of course, Gerrera was doing his sort of typical rebellious things and fighting back against authority and order. It was really cool to see Captain Rex. I'm happy we're seeing him because I'd always wondered in the back of my mind what happened after season seven of the Clone Wars, what happened with him and Ahsoka. So hopefully we're gonna get some more immediate feedback on what happens with Captain Rex and Ahsoka leading in with the Bad Batch. It's gonna be cool to see all of them together one more time, just like in the Anaxis arc. Fennec. Arguably, at least for me, a character I really didn't care about too much in The Mandalorian, but given the new sequences and sort of shots we got from the trailer, it looks like essentially Fennec was hired in some way to hunt down the Bad Batch. There's a sequence where they're being chased and the Bad Batch throw like this sort of detonator on her speeder and she sort of uh, explodes and kind of, you know, falls back. But it's going to be interesting to see Fennec maybe more developed than in The Mandalorian. Of course, she did end The Mandalorian Season 2 uh, with Boba Fett on the throne of the Tatooine. Uh, Jabba the Hutt Palace. So I plan on making a video in the future just discussing everything that I would like to see in Lego from the Bad Batch. Whenever the next trailer or whenever the show concludes, I do want to make a full list of things that I think are realistic Lego sets, but I think there's a really good chance we're getting a lot of very cool named characters coming back. However, with stuff like this, only time will tell. Obviously, we all thought the Clone Wars was awesome, but we only ended up getting two sets, really? Probably? from the show, but it's gonna be interesting to see how Disney and Lego have collaborated, what sets they'll be producing, if any, um, coming from the Bad Batch. But this trailer showed us so much more about the information. Bad Batch is officially on the run. They've gone rogue, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And as a huge fan of the Bad Batch and the Anaxis arc, 
This is extremely exciting for me. I'm really excited to see not only that unfold and that storyline sort of present itself in Disney Plus when the series releases, but also for the amazing, amazing, amazing possibility that we will be getting some other newer editions of figures such as the Bad Batch, such as Captain Rex, such as Fennec. So I think it's gonna be interesting to see how Lego handles the Bad Batch going forward. But this trailer was awesome. I've watched it about five or six times now. If you guys haven't checked it out, like I said, go check it out. Let me know what you guys are thinking down below. Do you think it's going to be a pretty cool season of Bad Batch? Or do you think it's going to flop entirely? And what Lego sets would you like to see from the Bad Batch? Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more updates about Bad Batch, about Lego sets, about other 2021 stuffs. And we'll see you later. Take it easy. Peace.